this gaming setup is made up largely of five components. One, PlayStation 5. Two, TV. Three, speakers. Four, lighting. And five, other accessories. Throughout this video, I'll walk you through what I have chosen for those five components and I'll have links down below for the items that I've mentioned. Arguably the most important part of this setup is the PlayStation 5. PlayStation 5 has been a solid upgrade from the PlayStation 4 because I only had the standard PS4 which didn't have enough power to play most of the newer games that were coming out. So games all run relatively smoothly and there are multiple PlayStation 4 games that have been optimized for PlayStation 5 performance so I've been replaying old games. For example, Days Gone in 4K 60fps is great and I've also played Control which looks fantastic on PlayStation 5 as well. Here you can see some gameplay footage of Control. Speaking of smooth gameplay, this could not have been possible without a good TV to support the gaming. And for my setup, I have a 65 inch LG C10 or CX. I was looking for a TV that was next gen console ready with support for 120Hz gaming so that I can future proof. This narrowed the search down to a handful of TVs including a Samsung QLED TV and a Sony Android TV which I believe is Q60T series for Samsung and for Sony it's XH900 or XH90 depending on the region you are in. I ended up going with LG C10 ultimately because first of all Samsung one didn't have enough 2.1 HDMI ports in my view and I wanted to be able to have uh, multiple consoles attached to it if I want to move to Xbox. Additionally the Sony Android TV had some issues with 4K 120Hz gaming with some blurring that was present and I read some articles slash blogs on that and it kind of spooked me into not getting it because I wasn't ready to take a plunge on a system that wasn't quite right at, from the get-go. I'll put a link to the blog post down in the, the description below so if you wanted to check it out you can do so. To make sure that the gaming experience is immersive both in visual aspects as well as audio aspects, I've decided to get a Sonos Arc soundbar. I am not an audiophile so I've chosen this because of a couple of things. Firstly, it promised great sound without needing a surround sound set and two, it provided um, eARC support which the LG C10 had. And lastly, I already owned a Sonos One speaker and I wanted to have in the future the ability to use that to expand Sonos Arc as a surround sound system if I wanted to and also to have um, further multi-room speaker setups if I wanted. Before Sonos Arc, I had an old Sony surround sound system which sounded fantastic and it was it had tiny golf ball speakers as they called it it was about 15 to 20 years old to be honest but um having to have the wires through all of the speakers meant the setup was always a little bit untidy i'm a huge fan of wireless setups so sonos now looks clean and it works really well for me the next component is lighting I have hue lights all around the house already, so I've decided to expand my hue light collection for my gaming setup. So here is the lamp light that you're seeing, which is relatively new I believe. It's a filament version of the bulb that's in there. It doesn't have multi-colors, but it's got warm um, light and white light, which I believe is enough if you have other multi-colored um, bulbs that they can provide different ambience. 
The ceiling lights are multicolored, so that provides the ambience that I was looking for. Another thing that's really good about the Hue system is that it comes with an app so you can control um, the light depending on the activities that you're doing if you set up presets. Hue Light also has Alexa support as well as Apple HomeKit support so it's really good if you wanted to control your lights with your voice if you didn't want to use the app. I also have here a Xiaomi lamp and it's relatively inexpensive and can add some great colors to the setup. Here you can see the range of colors this lamp has. And you can change the intensity as well. And also you can just have warm or white as an option, not just the colors. To show you how the lights set a mood for this gaming setup, this is the gaming setup without the lights turned on in the daytime. To me, without the lights, this setup looks calm and peaceful, more like a normal TV setup, which is good sometimes. This shows how versatile having lights can be for setting up mood, and I personally love being able to have different lights for different mood and occasions. So the last component I wanted to talk about for this gaming setup is accessories. First off, I have a Samsung convertible wireless fast charger for my phone. It's not really related to gaming in any sense, but I like to put my phone on there when I game so that I can have my phone juiced up when I'm ready to do other things. It's a real bonus that the charger itself and the design of it really match the aesthetic of this gaming setup. Next up is the DualSense charging station, which can charge two controllers at once. After my gaming session, I like to keep my controller right here so that it's ready and charged to go for the next round. Because Sonos Arc can get quite loud, for nighttime gaming or for private gaming sessions, I like to use a HyperX Cloud Flight wireless headset. Again, I'm a huge fan of wireless setups, so this one works really well for me. And this lasts up to 30 hours on one charge, which is quite convenient. The only major gripe I have is that with this particular version, it has to be charged with micro USB. Lastly, and I think this adds the most character to the gaming setup, it's a plant. I've got this plant from my parents, so I'm not quite sure what the type of plant it might be. So if you know, please feel free to leave a comment down below and then let me know what it is. But I do love the color of green that adds to a sort of a darker-ish color theme across the whole gaming setup. So that's it from my very clean and minimal-ish um, gaming setup. If you like this video, please like and, and comment and let me know down below what your gaming setup looks like and what you would have done differently from my setup. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.